Chapter 1, Understanding Respiratory Hazards As an expert technician for mold busters, I can attest that various job tasks might expose you to diverse respiratory hazards. The possible threats include dust in fibers, mists, fumes, biological contaminants, gases and vapors, oxygen-deficient atmospheres. Dust in fibers originate from material breakdown during activities like sanding, milling, drilling, or crushing. These airborne particles can irritate your respiratory system and potentially lead to severe lung diseases like silicosis from silica dust or asbestosis from asbestos fibers. Mists comprise tiny airborne liquid droplets formed during liquid agitation, such as shaking or spraying. Exposure to mists can cause skin, eye, and respiratory irritation. Some mists, like those from organophosphate pesticides, can affect your nervous system severely if they enter your bloodstream. Processes like welding or smelting generate fumes when solid materials like metal or plastic are heated, and the vaporized material then cools and condenses into airborne particles. Inhalation of certain fumes, like those from cadmium, can cause severe respiratory distress, chronic lung disease, or kidney damage. Biological contaminants in the air can include bacteria, viruses, fungi, and organic materials such as spores, pollen, or dander. Inhalation of these contaminants can lead to significant health issues, such as lung irritation, allergic reactions, or diseases. Effective protection against biological airborne particles often requires additional PPE like gloves or protective coveralls. Gases and vapors can irritate your respiratory system and skin or even lead to significant internal organ damage. These substances exist as individual molecules in the air and can readily spread throughout a workspace. Exposure symptoms can range from a sore throat, headaches, and dizziness to confusion, loss of consciousness, or in severe cases, death. When oxygen levels in the atmosphere drop below 19.5%, it's considered oxygen deficient. This deficiency can lead to significant health issues, ranging from shortness of breath, dizziness, and increased heart rate to severe brain damage or heart failure. Oxygen-deficient conditions often occur in enclosed spaces, highlighting the need for proper ventilation. Immediately dangerous to life and health IDLH, conditions. Certain atmospheres can cause irreversible health damage or death within minutes due to high concentrations of hazardous substances. These conditions, deemed IDLH, require specialized respirators, like supplied air respirators, which provide a continuous clean air source. Visit the NIOSH Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards for more information. In your work environment, more than one respiratory hazard may coexist. Therefore, it is critical to identify every potential and actual respiratory hazard present and ensure that appropriate respiratory protection is provided. In the next chapter, we will delve deeper into choosing the right respirator for your unique circumstances.